Touchbase is a global technology services yeah. company. And so we, we focus all of our attention on how companies can embrace collaboration and contact center technology to drive some sort of tangible business outcome. Uh, and in most cases, we work with companies that employ between 1,000 and 25,000 people. We're working across um, uh, the US or North America, Europe and Asia Pacific to deliver a really global, consistent yeah. solution. And, um, and Cisco is, is, is really central and core to everything that we take to market. And so we don't take any competing products yeah. to market. Um, we obviously do a lot of work around integration because that's essential for any collaboration solution. But uh, but Cisco's right there, you know, and um, and it's it's an amazing, amazing relationship. And I and I am deeply grateful to be uh, allowed to talk on you know on this session because it, it's yeah. uh, it's a unique opportunity. Well, I think through the meetings we've had, and uh, with the ones with Brian and otherwise, you know, even with customers, I mean, it's it's evident that you have a passion around the space. I think there's a lot of folks that don't know your history, and I think it, it is germane to the conversation. So at one point you were one of Avaya's largest partners, mm -hmm. and how recently, when did you transfer over, what was the driving force behind that? Well, we in two, yeah, we were a lar the largest global partner for Avaya, uh, except yeah. for the big GSIs. Yeah. And we in 2006 moved the whole business uh, yeah. overnight from uh, Avaya to Cisco, and so yeah. we did a flash cut, which was, uh, <laughs> which was, excruciatingly painful <laughs> and very expensive yeah. but uh, but it was it, it was I, I mean now you look back what's that five or six years ago absolutely the right decision yeah and I think that that heritage gives us a really uh, unique uh, you know, value yeah. capability because we we still have a huge amount of intellectual property around uh, these legacy technologies yeah. and of course yeah. people are moving from one to the other no I think so. that's completely one of the more fascinating things right that you absolutely understand that world. In fact, you can help customers uh, a, as they cut over, maintain right. that existing platform as they migrate over. So it's a great story. Well, tell me a little bit, I think I'd like to move just a little bit about what you're seeing in the market. What are you seeing from enterprise customers uh, in, in their environment? And then we can talk a little bit more about, so what does that mean they need? We're extremely active in the U.S. market because 70% yeah. uh, you know, of our clients are headquartered here. And yeah. so we get to see a lot of um, you know, a lot of new prospects for us, existing customers for you. And, and, and really there are some key themes. First one would be that there is huge appetite for collaboration and contact center technologies. Yeah. It's markedly different from three or four years ago. Now people yeah. want to spend money. You, 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 we see the legacy vendors are there, you know, as we all know, they yeah. are in the accounts, yeah. they're embedded, they've been there years and years and years. You've got lots of barriers to yeah. change. Uh, but they are struggling because they can't keep up with the breadth of capability yeah. which yeah. is required. And, um, and, and you know, as, as you would expect, all investments, every dollar of spend has got to have a business. More than ever. Yeah. Right. And so yeah. we work very hard to make sure that our recommendations have, you know, yeah. have some sort of business, uh, 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 business justification underpinning it. Uh, and, you know, and companies really now I suppose always, but more prevalent now because of yeah. this enormous uh, growth of the cloud thing, yeah. you know, which is everywhere, yeah. are very keen on having flexible investment models because yeah. this is big spend stuff. Yeah. And, uh, and if you can make it easy to consume, then... Yeah. I, I want to get um, to your approach to this, but tell yeah. us a little bit about just real quickly. Uh, you've got what the customers require then, right? With that environment, what do they require? You, you mentioned need creation. What, tell me a little bit more about what that, that means. We've been in voice, yeah. for, or whatever you want to call it, for 20 years. And you know, certainly before collaboration came around, it's very commoditized. The customer knows what they want to buy. And your job is to position why they should buy yours. Yeah. With collaboration, it's radically different because yeah. they don't know what they don't know. Yeah. And so a huge part of our responsibility, and, and this relates not just to uh, Touchbase, but Cisco, uh, and, and obviously other partners, it, it is to create the need, is yeah. to help them understand how this technology can transform right. the way they work. Yeah, in some ways that they don't, haven't even thought of yet. Right. Yeah. Well, I think just in the interest of time, I'm gonna jump to yeah. sort of what you, how you approach the market. And I think there's just some great synergies with uh, the approach that US Enterprise takes. So maybe tell us a little bit about how would you approach a customer then to, to um, 
respond to those needs? Well, we've, we've basically developed our model, uh, you know, as you would expect, on what we think the customer wants. And yeah. so we start off with this thing we call expert workshop, which is not chargeable. We don't yeah. charge for it. But it is a, a really deep dive session taking maybe a day or two days with the client to understand current yeah. situation, you know, wh what their yeah. issues are, where yeah. they want to be, and then to try and, I mean, our agenda is to get into a position where we can come up with some very compelling high-level recommendations yeah. for us to explore in yeah. a discovery and design engagement. Yeah. And at that stage... So we, the initial, yes. the workshop is sort of fleshing out ideas together with the customers, which yeah. is very similar to in the BVA process, we talk about hypotheses and the idea exactly of you know, right. sitting with customers and really trying to get in their shoes and so give you some ideas to explore down the ways that you can help their business. Exactly right. Okay. And then we move into a discovery and design engagement, yep. which is really just fleshing that out, yep. getting it, you know, the, getting the numbers concrete, getting yep. it to understand where the value is. Yep. And, and a big thing we focus on is the user experience. You, you, you are doing more with, uh, with hosted as well and moving at a flexible deployment model? Yeah, I, I mean, I think the key, you, you know, from an investment perspective, you've yep. got to offer choice. And, yep. and some companies have a lot of capital, you know, they want to spend yep. that capital. Some don't, or some yeah. want to use it somewhere else. And, and so we partner with Cisco around your white label uh, hosted yeah. uh, offering. Yeah. We're the first partner in the world to, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to get onto that. And, yeah. um, and we've literally launched it about eight weeks ago. We're fully ready. We can deliver today. Yeah. And it's just, for me, it's just so compelling. Yeah. I mean, you say, these are, the, these are the business returns you're going to get. This right. is what you're going to save from it. Yeah. You know, OPEX perspective, this is yeah. the productivity benefits, here's the strategic benefits. And by the way, you don't have to write a check for tens of millions of dollars. We'll align the spend right. with the benefit. That's a great story. Now, it's really, uh, it's really powerful. I think your ongoing engagement, too, matters, just the length of, of time that you're spending with them. And Can you just spend a second on the quarterly review, and then I'll wrap kind of just a couple of thoughts. Yeah, I mean, we, we're, I, I am obsessive about the review with clients, yeah. uh, you know, largely born out of the fact that it drives me insane when salespeople rock up when there's a deal, yeah. and or companies rock up when there's a deal, yeah. and disappear when there isn't yeah. a deal. Right. Whereas you know, selling happens when no one's buying, and buying happens right. when no one's selling. And so right. we spend a, a lot of time on quarterly value reviews, which has five inputs. We have these five recurring, yeah. repeatable customer events, yeah. which people are paid or, you know, they are, are remunerated to perform, and, and that the data out of those yeah. goes into this value review, which we hold right. quarterly. Well, it makes it a long-term customer <coughs> engagement, right? I mean, it really, it, it shows that there's a real partner at the table for the customer. Um, and, and the reason I wanted you to bring it up, because, you know, within the, with the U.S. enterprise, there's a, a focus on a quarterly business review, and it's both looking at projects and things that we're doing, but it's also another opportunity to bring up new ideas to share with your customers. So just a lot of synergies between how we go uh, to market together. So it makes, I think, a ton of sense for the audience to hear about that. Yeah. I think it's important for folks to note, too, I, I find this a bit unique. You're extremely compelling, tremendous executive uh, presence as well. And I understand that you lead all of these initial uh, engagements with the clients before you hand it off to your really strong client teams. Is that right? Yeah, I sort of do it, or we, I shouldn't say I, but yeah. we do it the other way round to what is, I mean, I, I got fed up running a company and getting called in at the last minute. Right. To deals. Right. You know, and someone was saying, well, we're going to lose it. Or, right. And, and, you know, I'm obviously not a miracle worker. And, uh, and yeah. so I, I now yeah. like to get very involved at the front end yeah. of the cycle. And uh, let's make sure we engage with Touchbase. And Reardon, thanks a ton for joining me today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. Time. I appreciate it. Thanks. thanks. You bet.